I am all suited up, and we are going to go Ocean Monument raiding. Hooray! I found one. Um, and we will go through what I have done here uh, upon my return. But, first things first. So... Yeah, so I've done a little bit of exploring uh, around this area, a little more map work. So I found uh, the closest ocean monument to me. And so we will go and we will get that first. And I have my own way of doing that. And it is a little tedious, but um, it works really well. So I don't care. Uh, it basically starts off slow and then uh, goes very quickly after that. Uh, and it's, uh, I've never died at an ocean monument, um, and you know, it's a, you know, that's, that's not a luck thing, that's, uh, that's a pattern now, um, you know, I must be good at it, <laughs> or, uh, or that wouldn't, or I would have died by, by this point, I mean, so my, uh, my way of doing things works. Now all I have to do is hope that I can render it to see it. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. Is that it? Oh, hey buddy. Oh, hey buddy. All right. I know it's around here somewhere close. Oh, that's it. Okay. So... Let's get suited. We're just going to go just like this. Essentially doesn't matter. We'll do that. So we'll do that. We'll put Jason Momoa in. So that I can murder things with Jason Momoa. Let's get a boat. And stuff to pillar. And let's go do this. Okay. So what I have found is the best way, absolute best way, to destroy an ocean monument, or to raid it, is to just buck up and build a, a conduit immediately. In bedrock, anyway. Um, because you just... It's so hard to breathe and stuff like I've never figured out how to do the um, uh, the door thing everybody uses doors I don't know if that works in bedrock or not so I've been I have terrible trouble with it um, okay let's do that I just want to mark this area all right cat let's go cuddle up we got some stuff to do Okay, cat's all cuddled up. Now we're now we're even in better shape. Okay, so we got that. Boop. And then I will boop the map on. And now we are marked. Excellent. Alright. Now I need Prismarine. So this is the part that sucks. It takes so long. But there's no really, really good way to do this, um, unless I were to set up, unless I were to set up like a haste, I think. But that would involve me getting a beacon, and uh, you know I've never died in an ocean monument, and hilariously, I actually didn't die. The only other time I've ever fought the dragon, I was death free. First time I died like a lot. I lost like almost everything. <laughs> um, second time, no. Nope. Was it because I was carrying a totem? Could be. Yep. But still, um, no. Technically, I didn't die. So that was nice. Uh, but regardless, I didn't die. Didn't die. Just kind of, just kind of die. I think that's the same thing. Uh, but yeah. And anyway, I'm not gonna go get a beacon and beat a wither in bedrock. 
I've just I've heard that it's just a nightmare. Um, and uh, I've actually I've actually only died once in this world. Shh. Oh, I'm that only died once in this world. Um, and the reason for that was I jumped off my mob farm and I thought I was going to be like really super smooth and I hit my elytra on the way down so that I could like glide out like I was looking out so I thought you know the wings would catch and I'd be like Phew, like that just pop right out yeah pop right directly into the side of a mountain <laughs> face plant <laughs> it was not not what I was looking for so that that wasn't real hot come on all right I forget exactly how many blocks I need so I'm just gonna get too many because I don't want to have to do it twice really don't want to have to do it twice I just want to buckle down get the blocks call it a day that's it whole deal boop and once I get that conduit running I can just take all the time I need because I'll have infinite air and I'll have I got uh, night vision, underwater, or night vision period. Um, yeah, it's just, it's the nicest, bestest way to go monument rating. So yeah. But as you can see, I mean, how long it took me to get here, how much, like 15 seconds? via elytra. It's not like I even did it, um, it's not like I even needed a, another portal or any, I didn't need anything. I just, boop, I just booped and went over. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go again. Yeah, that's the worst part, is that once it's done, I still won't be able to dig anything out for a couple of minutes. Because I don't think the curse goes away. It sticks with you just as long even if you kill all the all the guys. Am I about to get smacked in the face? Don't smack me in the face. I got a thing for that. Uh, I got a bad feeling about that too. I don't want to wake anybody up. Yeah, one of the things that I definitely subscribe to is that if you don't look at it, it's not really there. And uh, so far, so good right now. I'm doing okay. Whoops, bubbles. That, uh, not, not the same thing. Okay, and I'm not gonna like totally care if this is the best looking conduit in the whole history of the world. So that would be ridiculous. I'm not I'm not doing that. I'll just rebuild it later if I need to once the uh, once the big daddy guardians are murdered. I'll be able to do whatever I want. So I'm not gonna fight too hard with that. I do think I need these spots though. <clears throat> so I just put it right at the very top of the temple. Um, and that works out really, really well. So it gives me the full, like, coverage. Yeah, you can see the guy coming out. Why am I not breaking this? What's going on? This does not take longer, does it? Oh my smokes. Okay. So, let's figure out... Definitely don't need rockets right there. Okay. So let's figure out how we gonna do this. How close are we to the top? We got three there. It needs to be totally submerged. So two... Okay. We'll put it here. So, one, two, 
Oh, it's not the right spot. <laughs> Immediately bollocksed. Cool. That's great. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Everything's in fives. One, two, three, four, five. Three. Perfect. Then we do one, two, right? Yep. Two. Oops. Okay. Two. Oh, who? Who is trying to murder me? Is it you? I will chase and mow you. I will. Okay. Um, two, three, two. Okay. Boy, that, that daddy is getting, he knows what's up. He knows exactly what is up. Okay. So obviously, uh, you could say I miscounted or you could say I didn't count at all. Totally up to you. Um, but regardless, this is going to take a wee bit more. So actually, no, yeah, no, no. I need, I need a bunch more. That's that's what we know. That's what we know. Let's just work with what we know. It's okay. I've got all the armor. I am a decked out. Okay. Okay. Is it you? You must be stopped. Good guy. Come on. We have three air bubbles. Give me this one, and then I will go for air. I promise. Promise? I promised. So I have to. Okay. Oh, this part's so painful takes so long. I mean, once you have efficiency 5 and everything, it's painful, but it's not impossible. It is. Like, trying to do, the first time that I ever found an ocean monument, true story, I was playing with, uh, with my buddy Mike's, uh, kid, well, yeah, his kiddos were in the room, and I'd never seen an ocean monument before, so I asked about it. And they told me what it was, and that I should probably leave. And <laughs> they said they just were pretty straight up there, like, you're, you're going to die. Um, and I would have if I stuck around without, like, knowing anything about it. Uh, I stuck around, killed a bunch of guardians, and then I found out... I, that was when I found out that guardians just spawn. Like, they just constantly spawn in this area. And I had no idea. Um, I didn't actually realize that that was even a mechanic that would happen in... Minecraft this way, because I mean they spawn in broad daylight right around here, and uh, you know that's not at all anything that I thought was going to happen. So that took a little while. Once I figured it out, I wanted to find the best way to do it. And even though this way takes a little bit, don't get me wrong, um, it is absolutely the most comfortable way to do it. I mean, there's there's nothing. That I need to worry about. Oh, who's firing at me now? Nobody? Somebody. Who's being a poop? Why are you guys pooping with me? Guys, you know, you know that this, this conduit is the end of you. Goodbye. Okay, let's go get some more air. Ah, oh, you're so destructive. You're like letting a domestic cat out into the wild. They're just vicious creatures. Okay. That, and then... I 
need six. Okay, let's go get six. Let's just get six. It's just six. That's it. And then that's it. One. Uh never do math on stream. <laughs> Let's see if I can count to six. This is two. Six. <laughs> I don't know where that six one came from. Okay. This might work. If it doesn't, then I have to blow up those lights, but I think it still works. I think it works. Okay, so then I throw that down. I throw that down. And then I blow this up. That should be it. I'm completely submerged and I'm in the ocean. And these lights are going to be... Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, this makes me wish I brought dynamite. <laughs> I would have blown them up to start. Oh, this takes forever. Let's see. Come on. Don't pay attention. They're not real. They're not real. Don't, don't look. Come on. Break. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay, so we've gotten ourselves a conduit. Perfect. Everything's great. Let's go inside. And we're going to have terrible trouble in here because I always do. I always get lost. Okay. Eventually we take the place apart for secrets and stuff. But right now, no, right now we go murder guardians. Specifically the big ones that keep cursing me. Okay, up there. Okay, that's the way back out. I've still got all the air. That's the sponge room. nothing going on and that means I think that is a secret room I think right behind that wall pretty sure okay let's find these guys okay I always forget if that's sponge room or the gold room anyway I like Dark Prismarine, so I'll be back for you. I do like it. You know, it's funny, I never build with it. Because it's so... I never find enough of it where I feel comfortable building with it. Minecraft's so weird like that. Like, I'm a hoarder in this game. So whenever I find something that I really, really like, I just won't won't use it unless I have a ton of it or I can get a ton of it uh, I don't do the math on ooh sponge oh that's a lot of sponge oh oh that's good oh that is very good there's more sponge over there okay 
So, now what I need to do is find dudes. Where are the dudes? Okay. It's nice that I don't have to think, like, at all. I just, I don't have to worry about anything to do with air or light or, and I mean, I'm basically invincible. I haven't died. I haven't died by anyone else's hand except for my own. <laughs> I haven't even drowned in this season. That's pretty impressive for me. Normally I'm, I'm all about drowning. I'm super good at drowning. And then this season, not so much. Is that more of the same? I think that's the same. If it's more, that's great, but I'm pretty sure that's the same. Oh, there we go. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. Here we go. Oh, stop it. That sound. Okay. Um, oh, there's a third floor. Yes. Yes. Here, technically no. Oh, that's suspect. A little sus, a little sus on that. Oh, there's another floor. Okay. Where's a? Uh... No. All the. Dudes to kill. I thought there were three of them. I haven't even been able to find one. I'm a sad panda right now. Okay. Good news is, like I said, invincible. I'm gonna pop this. Yeah, that's right. Is there a bad guy up there? I can hear him. I hear him doing bad guy things. Oh! Where'd he go? You're supposed to be in this room. I was right. Where'd he go? Did he leave? Oh, wait. Isn't it like if bad guys are within a certain distance of the conduit, then they just get murdered in the face? I think I might have murdered him. And I think all of this stuff might have taken place. No! Oh, well, that's one guy. And there's plenty of sponges. Okay. So that's one guy. One guy gone. Congratulations. Actually, I did pick something up. There's Marine Shard. That must have come from him. That must have come from him. That must have been part of his thing. Okay. Because I beat everything to death with a... Uh, Silk touch. Okay. So then the other ones are around the edges, I think, if I'm right. Unless they also... I'll tell you right now, I'll be able to figure out when they're all dead. Because, like, two minutes later or whatever, I won't have that curse on me. And I will be perfectly fine with that. Okay... Oh no. Oh. I, I can't. I can't even. Okay. Do this. Where's the... 
where do the lower areas? There are lower spots, and there are dudes there. And I know there are dudes there. Can I get... There aren't any lower spots. Okay. Maybe not. I guess there are. There we go. I knew that was nonsense. Where'd he go? Come on. Oh! Lucky shot. There we go. What do I got out of him? Got some sponge. Do love sponge. Sponge, another one of those things, man. Okay, new curse means there's one more. Which I knew. <laughs> Ugh. What the dirt? Seen this swing? Or did I just make a big circle? Oh, there he is. Yes. I'm just, I'm just gonna murder you. What's this? Yeah, I'm basically do what I want. Cool. Okay. So that's it. So I have um I've, I've done the monument. Okay. Well really. The monument is done. Alright. So that's pretty great. Um Let's see. I've got to get rid of this curse. Because I don't want to keep playing with this curse on. But I didn't bring any milk. Okay, well, it'll go away shortly. I'm gonna go find, ooh, the central, nice little central lower in there. Okay. What was this thing? Where is this? Is this, is this on the main floor? It is, I missed it. Okay, so this was, the way. Okay, cool. So we got stats. Okay. So I want to be here when the curse goes off. Because these are things I want. Now, let's do let's do a shuckle box down. Just gonna throw some stuff in there that I don't care about. Okay, so we're not sleeping in between. Don't need a water bucket. Don't need coal. Don't need arrows. We'll need rockets. Spare carrots. I'll bring the fortune. That stays. That stays up. Don't need this right now. I'll need those. And these are all things I'm going to be collecting more of. So I might as well not. Same with the lights. I'll leave the scaffolding. And... If the curse comes back on, that means that that other dude didn't die from attrition. 
out of the conduit. And that would suck. Oh, that's the gold. I love the gold. Okay. So, the monument is down. That was so easy. I love this method. And I'm glad I thought of it. I'm sure other people do it too, but I've never watched anyone do it this way. So we will see. I just want to see if the curse comes back on. Hurry up, curse. Mining fatigue or whatever it is. Okay. Please go away, mining fatigue. I don't know where that dude is. But I'm pretty sure he's dead. There it is! Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. 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 Okay. Just gonna take this out and then we'll hit the sponge room. And then like I guess I don't really care about the rest of it <laughs> right now. Um I just wanted I wanted lights. I love, love, love sea lanterns. They're my favorite lighting. Um and then we'll just do a super quick run around just so I can uh, show the little things that I've put down. I haven't really spent as much time uh, playing lately. I've been playing a couple other things along with Minecraft lately. So, uh, but I do want to just grab a couple of these guys on my way out the door or on my way to... Go find, uh, go find dust sponges. Okay, it's not in that one. Let's see, which one was it in? This one? No. Was it in this one? Yep. Okay. And I mean, I'm just a simple man. I don't need a whole lot of sponges, but they are handy when you want them, you know? I mean, there's... It's either this or you fill the entire thing with some, like, poop filler. And then once you're all done, you gotta dig it all back out. And that's a pain. So I'd rather just, you know, sponge. As long as we have sponge, we should have, like, paper towels, too. There's no reason to not have paper towels. I should be able to make them with, uh, with paper. <laughs> as long as you, like, two papers make one paper towel, and you can just, like, lower a water level by whatever the gradient is. So like, what is it, one-fifth or one-quarter or something like that? One-eighth? Some number like that. Okay. So I've gotten a few lights, got some gold blocks, got some sponges, got a little bit of that, got some dark prismarine, and I've also got it marked on my map, and I can come back anytime, and it's only 15 seconds from my base. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this was a pretty good deal. Okay. There we go. I'm one of the few that really isn't super interested in making a guardian farm. I know that they're awesome and that you can just get so much everything and 
but they're such a pain in the butt, especially if you're alone, you know. And I'm not, I don't need to like replicate all of these resources. I mean, I can go to any ocean monument in the game and do that, and it's mine, you know. If it were, if I had, you know, 31 other people on the server, then we'd probably have to make farms so that everybody could uh, could share in dust riches. Uh, that's fine. Oh, we getting dark. And I did not plan correctly for the darkness. I'll get my bed in there. Okay. That's going to have to do. That'll be the way we do it then. So, let's go ahead and boot the bed down. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, what was it? Oh, it's just a dolphin. Don't be scared. It's just a dolphin. It's just a silly dolphin. That's fine. All right. Yeah, so the reason I haven't been using boats is because they just disappear. It's funnier than a boat. It's just gonna go away. You know, every time I use a boat, I'd use it like to for a small Montana or river or something. I was exploring. And it would just go away and then I'd be without a boat. So I'd have to make like a shulker box full of boats just to go places. Come on, Cliff Secord. Let's do this. That's going to be a spider spawner. There's a poison, like, cave spider spawner <laughs> down there. So I'm going to use that. Um... So, as you can see, things have grown up a little bit. Not too much, I'm just doing a little bit of work. Um, I got a roof on now, and the floor's done on the inside. So, oh, that was a lot of inertia. Okay, so here we go. So, this is my little barn, and these are just things basically, anything that I can farm reasonably, um, I've got in here. But I don't have farms for them yet. I just have all the storage so that when I... Because, I mean, obviously you come across stuff, so... I've got that. Then I've got my glass house. This is where I'm going to keep all my glass. And I'll have all the different colors and stuff um, in here for it. But right now, all I've got is that. And one tinted... Uh, down... Let's see, there is a hallway down that end and it's lengthy and I haven't done anything with it yet but at the end of it uh, there's a water ele elevator that goes down to uh, a geode so that I can go in if I need to AFK for like if I desperately need amethyst um, crystals then I can just go down an AFK and uh, they're all dug out so they all grow on all six sides um, everything's pretty good there over here, this is my ore. Basically, anything that when I break it, if I break it with fortune, I get more. Uh, it's in here, so that's pretty good. I also like the sound of the copper, which is cool. I'll never get over that and uh, walking on deep slate. I think it's great. Um, and then this is all of my like I call them. I call this the building blocks. So, like, most of the stuff that just comes out in blocks and you build it. Um, there's more stuff in certain containers, obviously, so... Um, and I'm adding shulkers to all of them. So this is just anything that you can... Anything that comes out of cobblestone. Boom. In this one. Uh, and then, as I get enough of them, I'll have shulkers in there. Uh, full of those things. 
and I, I like having the lanterns. It's a little too symmetrical for me, and I was thinking about doing uh, some stalagmites. Stalagmites. <laughs> uh, here's, yeah, the wood. Yeah, this is still all the same. I mean, that's the same. Got my dragon heads. Got, uh, got plenty of plenty of shulkers. Um, got some backup elytras. Got my dragon egg on top. Here's my little house. And it's coming along, but obviously I've still got vines. So uh, I've moved the, the enchantment set up over here. I've got this ridiculous floor. Um, I thought this was going to work much differently, and I don't know if it's a if it's a bedrock thing or a PlayStation thing or what it is. But uh, I'm, I I think what I might have to do is put uh, hay bales down on top of everything, because I think that gets you more smoke, or smoke that lasts longer, or smoke, smoke, smoke. Anyway, smoke them if you get. So that'll, that'll come out. Um, but I thought that it would just make the entire floor like a blanket of smoke. And I thought that would be really, really cool. Um, and it did not work out that way. But I'm leaving it because uh, because I am so there. I was so disappointed that I left it. Um, obviously, this is, gonna, this is the center of the room. But uh, there's no reason for me to have a bed there. Except that it's so convenient. Um... This is all that I have left to sort, and it's mostly, it's, uh, you know, unstackables. Um, come on, let's not do the lag thing, there we go. Uh, unstackable stuff, stuff that I haven't gotten around to unenchanting. Uh, you know, some of, some of it is pretty good stuff that I found. Um, you know, like, some of this, some of this stuff's pretty good. <coughs> um, and I want to keep it for backups. Uh, and I'll end up putting it on, uh, uh, I'll end up putting it on armor stands, uh, over here. So this is going to be the bedroom in here, just a little bedroom, nothing big. And then over here, this will be my vault. And I'm going to have a big elaborate door, uh, here, hopefully spiral redstone that pops on out, which I think will be cool. But this little hallway, I think, just looks kind of nice. And I would like to give it a little bit more depth, but it uh, it does look nice, I think. It looks kind of warm, uh, and I do, I like that look. So uh, at the end, I might, I might put a fireplace instead and put it all the way up through the top of the mountain out there. Uh, all the way up through the top of all that, which would be kind of neat. And then the forge. So... Uh, I'm big into building a cool forge. This one's pretty cool. Still got work to do on it. Uh, there's other things that I'd like to do. There's other touch-ups, you know, uh, back here. I need to make it so that, as a matter of fact, I'll just do these right now because I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking about it. And so there, okay. So now we can open all those chests inside. You can see those are all the fuel chests, those are all the uh, output chests, um, and they work pretty well. It's nice. Uh, I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to have an automatic feeding system over the top. Eh, it's not that hard, and I don't, it's not like I waste so much time with it. Uh, so we'll, I'll make that decision later. And then these are must smokers. And I have an infinite water source here still. I haven't filled it in yet. And I haven't decided if I'm going to. Um, but anyway, I did that because of this. So uh, I've recently harvested this. But this is my fuel room. Absolutely no reason that everybody shouldn't have one of these. I mean, it's awesome. You just go in, drop everything, swim along the top, and get it all up and then you just throw in the smokers and you get yourself uh you know fuel fuel for days so uh, we'll get there with it i'm not i'm not full up yet on it obviously. 
this one. Um, but that. And then the floor, I thought that it was kind of neat to... It's the, the stuff never flowed quite right for me. Uh, and I'm sure that I could do it a little bit better than this, but I got I got strapped for time, and so I took shortcuts. <laughs> uh, one of the things, uh, I do like how it kind of has outlets, so there's lava coming out, coming out, coming out, going down, coming out, coming out, going down. And it's supposed to all go into these little holes, but uh, it just didn't, didn't really flow right most of the time. And if I had a little bit more patience on that, then I'd do that. But like I said, most of this stuff, you know, nobody's ever going to see it. It's just for me. So I get to do things the way I want to. Um, and I think that's kind of how things are right now. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope uh, hope you all have a good day. I will see you the next time.